Hey guys, here we are at uh, Elizabeth Quay, and we're gonna we're gonna do the South Perth foreshore and around South Perth today, the old mill and all that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a ferry across the Swan River, and it's only gonna probably be about 10-15 minutes across there. And uh, the ferry will cost us two dollars thirty each, so it comes every 15 minutes. So that's what this vlog's about. South Perth and its surrounds. So let's go and buy our ticket. So we're just paying paying for our tickets over here, and we'll give the lovely lady the the money to get across to South Perth. So it did cost a little bit more than we thought because we looked on the website, and um, we just I'll explain that if we're over there for more than two hours, it will cost three dollars thirty each. So that's all good. Thank you very much. You too. So now we're walking down the gangplank over here to the ferry across to um, South Perth and um, we're not sure when it's coming but it could be that one over. no I don't think it's that one so we'll just have to wait now that is the ferry there that we're catching it's just turning around so it's quite a nice looking ferry so that um, that'll take us across to South Perth and then we'll film the foreshore like I said in the old mill over there and a few of the amenities in South Perth So we're on the ferry here guys, heading across to, or oh, we haven't yet started to go, but we're going to head across to um, South Perth shortly and look around. This is a pretty good ferry. You can check the seating in here. It's um, quite a nice um, clean ferry. So it's well worth the $3.30 per person. That $3.30 by the way is $3.30 return but you have to come back within two hours otherwise you have to pay for a return ticket to get or for a one-way ticket again back to back to Perth City so we'll we should wrap this up in two hours hopefully and uh, guys the ferry's uh, taking off now out of Elizabeth Quay and uh, under the bridge over there that that links across to Elizabeth Quay, that bridge, takes you across to the quay and um, we're going to head across to South Perth, shouldn't take more than 10 minutes probably, you can see the South Perth um, skyline there in the front and uh, I don't know if you can pick that up but there's a big boat crossing, crossing our path over there, he should be long gone by the time we get there. This year is the waters, uh, the Swan River. <laughs> Looks like a lot of um, new construction going on here in South Perth, guys. Um, we're entering um, South Perth now and so it was only about 10 to 15 minutes across by ferry and I see a lot of cranes over there so that means a lot of new construction going on tall buildings I don't know what they are it looks like apartments because we seem to be going through an apartment phase at the moment in Perth so we'll have a look when we get there, see what it's all about. Okay guys, so we've disembarked the ferry and we're in South Perth now. So we just walk into the, um, the main part here of South Perth. As you can see all the construction over there to your right, which I spoke about before, you can have, get a clearer view of that now. What we're going to do now guys, we're going to go on a um, 
a driverless bus it's an electric bus driverless bus and that takes us through a few of the streets of South Perth and we'll film that bus for you guys when we get there so you can see across to your right over there that there's all those buildings that's actually Perth City over there the skyline so we've come from there and we've come across the river and we actually timed it it's about eight minutes across the river little uh, meerkats over here on the on the jetty in South Perth no they're not real they just um, but they look pretty cool the South Perth side they've done it up quite well it looks quite good haven't been here for a long time so um, yeah we've got some uh, emus over here the statues of emus they look pretty cool there's something across the road there also can't quite make out what it is it is some sort of a statue across the road there and this here is the South Perth foreshore the grass area hey guys I'll be walking along the South Perth foreshore over here beautiful day in Perth this morning and you can see in the foreground over there the little bus that's the electric driverless bus that we will be boarding shortly for a little trip around South Perth you can also see to the right there the apartments here in South Perth which overlook the Swan River pretty good wouldn't mind one of those apartments they look pretty good but um, yeah it's a beautiful day in Perth today um, I think the temperature is set to reach about 30 degrees I'm not sure 27 to 30 somewhere around there and the foreshore is looking good as we head towards the bus over there so guys this here in front of us is the driverless vehicle it's the RAC initiative uh, Royal Automobile Club that's what RAC stands for so it looks pretty nifty not sure how many people can fit in there but uh, looks quite cool uh, quite cool and quite small um, but interesting it's driverless so <laughs> I don't know if we end up in the Swan River I've never ever been on a driverless vehicle before So we're just filming some of the artwork here on the South Perth foreshore. I don't know quite what that is. It looks like a, a shell or something. But, um, there's some signage over there in front. So we'll quickly have a look what it says. Apparently the sign um, symbolises change and movement of transport and ideas so uh, probably to do with the uh, driverless bus what we're about to board over there and you can see the Perth skyline over there doesn't that look good across the Swan River in Perth Western Australia and you can see the greenery over there that's Kings Park over there So you've got a 360 degree view over here of Kings Park, the Perth City, um, South Perth and the South Perth um, foreshore and Esplanade. So how good does that look guys? So this behind me guys is the actual hub where you have to report to for the um, for the driverless vehicle but the driverless vehicle is actually parked all the way down there so I don't know why they've set it up like that because we were actually waiting at the driverless vehicle but then Susan spotted the hub over there and we walked down there and that's where someone's manning the, the hub so now we have to walk all the way back to the driverless vehicle again so I'm not sure why they don't set the hub up near the vehicle but anyway gets a bit messy but we're heading towards the vehicle now Ash is just checking 
for traffic. Um, if you did miss something though, the sensors are already engaged, but we don't like to disrupt the flow of traffic, so we just make sure that we have a little lookout before we head off for our journey. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad you're excited, not scared. Okay, we're off on this um, driverless bus here. Um, I can turn behind you. Yeah, you can look where Passing all the cars right. with ease so far. Not, um, yeah, oops, it's come to a standstill. Yeah. So, are we doing lots right now? Why not? Yeah, so Why we're going to do lots right now. And we're back. <laughs> So you may have noticed that Ash has an Xbox controller in his hand. Now if he does have to manually move us around the, an obstacle that's on our path, that's how he will do that. So that can override the autonomous system. Um, if something comes in front of us like a car but is going in the same direction as us and it actually moves off of our path, then the LiDAR will pick that up and the computer will actually recognise that and we'll just keep going on our way. So, We'll see what happens on the journey. Every journey is different. We might never, we might not have someone that comes in front of us, so we might. You never know. It's a guessing game, really. And we won't be going too fast today. So the top speed that we'll be going today is 19.8 kilometres an hour on this journey. Um, the bus itself can go 20 kilometres an hour, but it was actually designed for short distances. So things like aged care facilities and hospitals, um, universities, where you need to get somewhere, kind of like a midway point, where you want to get somewhere a little bit faster than walking. But if there's a lot of people around, you're going to be extra careful. You should see these small figures I was thinking of you guys making an electric wall that was an so electric it's, water bus? Yeah, if you need to cross the water. That would be pretty cool. If like a boat. Like a boat. A jelly boat. It could be an Intelli bus boat. It could be a boat. <laughs> Have you ever been on those um, buses that turns in, that goes on the water and turns into a boat? That would be cool. I went on one when I was in America. Only mummy. Oh, mum has? No, I have one Maybe one day. It's a good idea though. Okay, thank you. Hopefully, um, our kind of next plan is to get this to go to the zoo. Um, but to do that, we would need to interact with a set of traffic lights. Um, just because it would be amazing for people to be able to catch the ferry across and then the Italy bus to the zoo. Yeah. So it's a distance that's a little bit too far to walk, especially if you've got friends and things. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's where we'll be heading in the future. But. Oh, you never know. It's kind of a slow process. You might hear me say that a lot today, that there's a lot of things that we can't do. There's, we're very lucky that we can actually be, be on the road right now and be doing this trial. But um, there are a lot of limits of our permit that we can't really move past. Some things have changed, but we have been running since 2016, so it's been quite a long time. And we've seen a lot of improvements, but we don't actually have an end date to the trial, so... We just want to collect as much data as we can so that we can make informed decisions in the future for when we do change legislation. That's one of the biggest things is the legislation.
Hey guys, so um, being on that in, in tally bus by the RAC, we um, got some certificates here with my name and Susan's name, each of us got one, and it was quite a pleasant um, little drive on that bus, quite enjoyed that wasn't scary at all so if you're next in Perth or you want to do something on one of those driverless buses come down and check it out okay so we're in South Perth on the foreshore guys this is a bit of eatery over here on the, on the foreshore in um, South Perth and we're coming up to a, that was Rambler there's a shopping there's actually a shopping center in there and uh, we've got a famous Coco's restaurant over here it's um and check this check this um rhinoceros here in front made out of um metal that's very very cool i quite like that that's in front of uh, coco's restaurant here in south Perth. a party going on up there at coco's um it's a very well-known restaurant on the swan river here in south perth they've got a special on here a lunchtime special champagne fish and chips for thirty eight dollars fifty that's not too bad i suppose i don't know how much champagne you'll get out of that probably one glass and um heading down one of the side streets here in south Perth. quite um leafy down here quite a nice um quite nice nice and cool down here there seems to be a few little eateries going on over here shopping area over there across the that's miss chow's uh chinese restaurant across the road there a very um good quality food if you're in the south perth area and over here to your right if i'm not mistaken that's the windsor hotel is it i'm not sure no it's not it's a few restaurants in there that's a few restaurants there. there's a thai restaurant over there on top and there's also one over here called Automatic. And um, the crowds are filling in over there. It's a nice little um, shopping and eatery strip along here. All sorts of stuff along here. This is actually a, um, a shopping, a South, South Shore shopping centre over here. I don't know if we're going to go in there and have a look. Um, we'll keep walking down the road here. And um, look at the crow sitting on the fence over here. He's, he's waiting for a feed. I think he's waiting for a feed. He's waiting for someone to drop a, uh, a piece of food and he'll pounce straight away. More cafes over here on your on your right hand side guys. All the cafes seem to be full over here in South Perth. It's quite a pleasant walk from the foreshore down the street because um, everything's nice and cool out of the sun with all the trees that they have growing over here. Now, like I said before, there's a lot of construction going on here in South Perth. And uh, to your right over there, looks like something happening over there. Maybe, maybe um, hotel units. There's a pub over here. This could be the Windsor. Looks pretty full. People sitting down, enjoying... Um, enjoying lunch and a drink cold beverage it's going to reach about 30 degrees in Perth today so beautiful weather for for that for lunch and a cold beverage
Okay guys, so hopefully um, this is the end of our um, South Perth um, journey, heading over to South Perth. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And unfortunately we couldn't do the old mill over there because of time restraints. But um, the mill was built in around 1835 and uh, it was used as uh, a mill to produce flour in the day. As a matter of fact, it was Perth's tallest building way back in 1835, believe it or not. And it was also um, used as a few other things throughout its lifetime, um, namely uh, uh, Perth's first rooftop bar. So if you enjoyed this uh, video in South Perth across the Swan River, please like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.